Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. And I am extremely sorry that I did that to you. I just wanted to uh have a little fun I guess. Anyway, um Welcome back to another video. Um today we're gonna see if Alien Isolation is uh still as scary as it was back in twenty fourteen. Um so let's get into the video. This game has a unique mechanic, which not many other horror games have, which is stealth. Only a few other horror games, really, that I know of use stealth. And this game probably uses it the most, because uh, the enemy in this game, the uh, Xenomorph, you can't kill it. So, you basically have to hide from it. Um, and also, there's just some enemies in the game that are just way too hard to even try to fight, so there's no point in really doing it. So, um, yeah. I would recommend hiding most of the game. You know what else has a unique mechanic? My upcoming video game, Event Hide Eclipse, which you can support now on Patreon. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know you guys don't like plugins, and I don't like them either, but I have, I have good reason for this one. So, um, some of you may have seen my, uh, trailer, proof of concept trailer for my uh, upcoming game, Eventide Eclipsed. Now, I know it's uh, pretty what bad, but in my defense, I have no budget, which is why I'm trying to get the game supported on Patreon, because if I get it supported on Patreon, I um, might be able to fund the game. So, basically, you can fund the game on Patreon right now if you want to. Uh, it's up to you. But I would really appreciate it if you did. I'm not asking you to. You don't have to. That's completely up to you. I I do appreciate all the support from anybody who joins the Patreon, though. And uh, there are different tiers on the Patreon, which you can uh, purchase. Some of them are only limited time. No, not limited time. Uh, some of them only have limited people who can actually have them. One of my tiers even has one person. So, uh... If you want to help support my uh, upcoming game, feel free to uh, support it on Patreon. Oh yeah, also real quick, each tier gives you something different, and um, I'll link the Patreon in the description. Anyways, uh, we're going to get back to the video now. There is no other words for this game's sound design. It's absolutely terrifying. Like, just listen to some of this music. Then we can never forget that just iconic noise of when the alien comes out of the vents. Now we will be talking about the biggest part of this game, really. The Xenomorph. Now, we'll start with its AI. Its AI is not too bad. It's definitely better than... Whatever this is. Unlike that game, I actually feel threatened by this game's AI, because if I'm not hiding, I feel like it always knows where I am. Um, next up, we'll talk about just the alien in general. Like, how scary is it? Now, for the first part of the game, it's pretty scary. Um, later in the game, it's less scary once you already know how to fight it. And, um... Actually, I'm, I am I really like the flamethrower, because it actually really works. Okay, yeah, so the flamethrower does not always work. So, um, yeah, maybe the AI is still pretty horrifying. Also, um, we got the noisemaker, which uh, does not always work either. Overall, I would say Alien Isolation still holds up as a pretty terrifying game in today's standards, even to be almost 10 years old. 
I would definitely still recommend playing this game if you love horror experiences. This game still scares me to this day. And it's very... It was very advanced for its day, too. Like... Definitely play it if you love horror games. Anyways, um, remember that you can support my Patreon, and um, I think I'll see you guys in, a, in my next video. Goodbye.